Hey guys, what's up? This is King Elfie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and set up the create mod in Minecraft. With creators like Tango, ZF, and Exuma now playing the mod, the mod pack has picked up a lot of steam, but it's kind of difficult to get your hands on because it is not in the CurseForge launcher like many other mod packs. So this mod pack you do have to install manually, and we're going to go through how to do that right now. So, as always with my tutorials, I'm going to be starting with a fresh.minecraft folder, that way I can show you everything from scratch. And the first thing you're going to want to do from here is install the Forge Launcher. So, may as well just go ahead and get the latest download. You can go with the recommended if you're worried about it, but there's nothing wrong with the latest version. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and click on your Forge Launcher. That's going to open this window right here, and you can just install the client from here. So just hit OK, and it will install Forge for you. Perfect. After it's done downloading, you should get a message like this, and then you can go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher and just make sure that Forge is an option for launching. While you're here, I'd also suggest allocating a little bit more RAM, so go to your installations and your Forge installation, just hit the three arrows over here, edit, and hit more options. Scroll down to this argument right here, and then just reallocate as much RAM as you'd like. It's defaulted to two, I'm gonna up it to four, and then save. Next, you're going to need to head to the CurseForge website to the Create mod, and yes, the links will be in the description below for all of the downloads that I've mentioned. So head over to Files on this page, and then head to the latest version of the Create mod. Click on this, and then Download. There we go. Once you have the Create mod downloaded, hit Windows and R to bring up your Run screen, and then do percent %app data percent to bring up your roaming app data. Then just click on your .minecraft folder, and if you have a fresh version of Minecraft like I do here, right click and make a mods folder if you don't already have one. After you have this mods folder, double click on that to open it, and just drag this mod into your mods folder. Now at this point you have everything you need to run the create mod, but I would strongly suggest getting just enough items as well, as would the mod team for the create mod. So if you want that, just head to the website, I'll have a link down in the description below. Head to files and download just like we did the create mod, bring you to this page, click on the latest version, and then just download that. Once again, once you have the mod downloaded, just go ahead and drag that into your mods folder, and that is all you need to do to activate just enough items. Once you have all of the mods downloaded, go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher again. Make sure you're on your Forge launcher because that will detect all the mods from your mod folder, and just go ahead and hit play. You'll get a screen like this, and that's how you know that your Forge launcher is working and that it is detecting mods from your mod folder. And once you've loaded in, you'll notice that we have four mods loaded, and if we head to the mods page right here, you'll see Forge, Create, and Just Enough Items, as well as just vanilla Minecraft. And if you go ahead and just load up a single player world and open up your inventory, you'll see that Just Enough Items is loaded, and if you go to the last pages of Just Enough Items, then you'll be able to see all the new blocks from the Create mod. That's why you really should get just enough items because the vanilla crafting book won't show you how to make all of these different things. If you want detailed recipes on how to make things, you need just enough items. And another important thing to note is you are able to download Optifine with this mod pack as well. Just go to the Optifine website and download it like you normally would. And that is all you guys need to do to get this mod working. So from here you can go on and tinker around with different machines and automations to enhance your vanilla experience. I definitely am looking forward to playing around with this mod, and if it's something that you guys want to see me do on my channel, leave a comment down below because I'd love to play this mod. Anyways, I'm gonna go for now, but if you like this video, make sure to drop it a like, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!